that is correct. Today we're going to be photographing the moon, specifically the moon, but also we're going to be uh, capturing the skies as well. Um, as you can see behind me, you may be able to see that we have a bit of a sunset. I mean, it's gone down now because uh, I've just filmed the video that you saw last time. Hopefully you watched that. If not, go check it out. But today we're going to be capturing the moon with this camera that I'm filming on now. We've got the 40 times zoom lens, so that should be quite good. It's not interchangeable, but anyway, let's get to it and see what shots we can get. So first of all, I need to check that I'm on the correct settings and all my exposures right. Because at the moment, the sky is a bit blown out and a bit too white. So, starting off with a landscape. And that sunset is pretty orange, you know. I'm going to try and zoom in to one of these puddles. Actually, no, even just looking over here at the sky, that is pretty nice. That probably doesn't even need editing. But as I said, we're going to be continuing with this 40 times zoom lens. I'm um, focusing on the moon. I don't know if you can see that. The screen might be too bright, but it's somewhere up there, and I've got it right now. And um, wow, wow. I've never actually taken photos of the moon, but I might have to do it more often, especially in the winter, because um, it's kind of easier to do. I mean, you do have to go out in the cold, but I think it's worth a shot. Because if you just look at this, wow. Um, I hope you did check out my latest video one before this about taking photos in a monochrome black and white but if you did not then please check it out so for my next shot i'm planning to get on like crouch down get a low angle uh through these bushes here well reeds and we're going to try and get a low angle shoot through the reeds into the moon i don't know if it will actually work but let's just give it a go because if you don't give things a go in life then how would you know that you're gonna work? Um, but I'm, go I'm gonna step out a bit more so I can find the moon, but I, it looks like it's not gonna work, unfortunately. I'm gonna try and bend down more. I don't know if you can see the moon in that photo. Um, it was a bit blurry. Try and find it in the moon in the frame again. like that now i need to try and hold my camera still because it's not going to work otherwise i think it's because it's focusing on this weed in front here but i'm going to try and get some nice detailed shots of the uh, moon as i said 40 times zoom lens full hd and then you also got on this lens down here the um equivalent and I got actual focal length. But I'm gonna once again zoom in. This is gonna max 40 times. Try to keep the camera steady and we've got it. I mean the shot was alright. I'm pretty excited about this because as I said, first time taking shots of the moon. Let me know if you've taken shots of the moon before. But it's actually really um fun. I definitely recommend you do it because I don't know if you can see on that shot but especially when we are it's like half a moon like 50 degrees or something like that not quite a full moon but you can see the, the half of the light see the light shining on the moon and and then half of it like in the shadow i'm gonna try and try and set three tasks so we got a normal shot of the moon that was all right i guess we're gonna try and add some more kind of like photography uh techniques i guess you could say in um so i did try the foreground one it did kind of work but i would say we're gonna give it another go i'm probably gonna go to this um tree over here like a sm small little tree i guess I'm going to try taking, once again, using a zoom lens. 
um, maxing it out at 40 times zoom with a focal length of around 14.4 millimeters or two two millimeters, something like that. And then we're well, hopefully going to get a really cool shot of the moon. So anyway, let's get to it. Right now we've got to the moon. The moon's somewhere up there. Um, I don't know if you can see, but this shot here. I'm thinking, I don't know if you see my camera screen, but that is really orange. I'm going to get a landscape. Actually, portrait first. Wow. The floor and glass is pretty much all black. But then you see the sky is like really popping with oranges and blues. Uh, and obviously, it's a few clouds blocking it, but I don't think that really makes a difference. We're going to try again zoom into this tree here specifically the tree because obviously it's gonna have that nice silhouette that you kind of want in a sunset shot it just makes the shot look a bit better but i see this um kind of like line up shot here but i don't know if i can get any plants in it I'm gonna try and get hang on i think we got a kind of Oh, I think we got a shot. Kind of. I mean, you have got the uh, weeds, I mean, the tree leaves in the top right of the frame. I'm going to lower the aperture. Make sure the, I'm going to make sure the exposure is correct. The moon is looking pretty orange. So we have got, like, a couple of shots of the moon now. We're going to head over to the sky see what we can get there's these birds but I don't know if I can capture them now nah, it's too dark my settings weren't right I'm gonna see if I can capture some birds also in the sky but I'm not sure about that we're gonna also continue getting some more shots of earth we're going to get a landscape this time we're going to change it get a landscape of the sunset i mean look at that settings weren't correct once again but okay we're going to change them and it looks pretty orange not gonna lie also gonna try and get um these plants in frame for the foreground just to add that extra bit of detail or more adding more stuff to the photo I guess but these clouds I want to see if I can get a shot of this cloud because it's just hovering not hovering well it's in that sky's atmosphere center of the frame that's not too bad oh I, I think I would like that but if you if you haven't but if but if you haven't like took photos of any sky or you just do street photography or you just do a bit of portrait photography I would recommend switching switching the style of photography for even like a day or trying something out because you could find something that you really enjoy and then you could also start taking photos of that specific type of thing or you could just carry on with your normal style of photography that you prefer most. I'm going to try and get a shot through this tree as the sunset is unfortunately beginning to end. But that was our last shot. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Well, without further ado, thank you for watching. I'm out.